one I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed, son. Stay blessed. Behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth. How? By thy great power and stretch out arm and there is nothing too hard for you that's El Gibor the mighty one it is within his power Lord I know it's one thing for God to be willing to step into your life it's another thing to believe he possesses that dimension are we together now yes in Isaiah chapter 9 I think he has 9 verse um, 4, 5, 6. Give us verse 6. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah began to prophesy the names that this great God will be called. Now manifest in the flesh, in the person of Jesus. And he said, he shall be called. His name shall be, number one, wonderful counselor. Not wonderful, comma, counselor. Wonderful counselor as a description. Number two, he says, please, um, the mighty God. There is a dimension. He is not just a wonderful counselor. He can be the mighty God. The same one is an the everlasting father. The same God is the prince of peace. He can reveal several of these dimensions for you. Tonight we want to see the mighty God. El Kibo, the one who can arise and help the helpless. The one who can arise and intimidate every force and every situation that defies his name in your life number two the second key to releasing restoration in your life is joy joy expressed in perfected praise joy that is expressed in and through perfected praise there is nonsense praise there is carnal praise there is devilish praise there is perfected praise it says out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained praise thou hast perfected praise perfected praise is ordained praise praise with an anointing on it like you ordain a man and the man changes your praise can be anointed and it can sustain an ability to become a weapon an instrument of breakthrough an instrument of judgment joy is a very powerful mystery in the bible habakkuk chapter 3 when you read from verse 17 to 19 the bible begins to describe what looks like the life of many believers habakkuk chapter 3 17 to 19 although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the field shall yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall not be heard in the stalls what is my response yet yet everybody say yet 
in spite of what it is that I'm seeing, in spite of what seems to be my situation now, I demonstrate my trust in God. I demonstrate my faith in his person and ability by rejoicing. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God who is able to save me, the God of my salvation. I will joy. Your joy is, is, is in hope. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Joy is very powerful. And the clearest way to express joy is in praise. Ordained praise. Perfected praise. Psalms 42 and verse 5, please. Very powerful scripture. Psalm 42 and verse 5. It says, Why art thou cast down all my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? It says, Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. My awareness that it is within his power to help me is what makes me to praise him. Like someone comes before a king and you praise that king knowing that he's a benevolent king. He says, Lord, I have learned something about your countenance that my help is in your countenance you can smile on me that's what we call favor and so i dance and so i praise brothers and sisters listen it's dawning on the body of christ afresh the age-long neglected mystery of cheap breakthrough this mystery of praise it's been chorused by several men of god for several years but i'm glad that the body of christ is suddenly it's like a veil that is being torn and they are realizing that sorrow, lamentation, languishing, regrets, negative confessions, all of these things are programming men towards disaster. And people are learning to be spiritual now. Understanding that praise is not just about music. Dancing is not just about shaking your body. We are beginning to extract the revelation from these experiences. And it's now returning life to the mystery. Because you see, it's revelation that gives life to a mystery. A mystery can become a religious practice when there is no life. It is your understanding, the construction of your belief as you engage that mystery that makes it alive and capable of producing results. Even the word of God, the Bible says, can be made of no effect. Praise the Lord. Your giving can be made of no effect. Your tithing can be made of no effect. It is not the activity but the understanding that sponsors what you do that gives life to the revelation. That's why the Bible says in all your getting, it says get understanding. Praise. Praise is a powerful mystery in the spirit. Those who have defied circumstances and said life will not make me cry for sorrow again. Those are the people who have stamped the gates of hell forever. I made up my mind as a person that if ever tears will come out of my eyes, it will be tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. I have grown old enough in the spirit for the devil to not make me look helpless. Listen, believers, let me teach you how to frustrate Satan. Rejoice regardless of the circumstances. The Bible says rejoice evermore. Again, I say rejoice. Satan walks in the realm of the flesh. It's his domain. So he studies the effect of situations on your faith. He studies the effect of situations on your convictions. All of a sudden you find out that there's a pain on your leg and he's studying your response. He's seeing how you are frowning at God and sending a text message to everybody. I don't know how my life is. You just finish a prayer seminar or a word seminar discussing the faithfulness of God. You just had a morning devotion learning that God is faithful and then a situation dwindles your belief to a point where you can almost curse God. Our generation is full of angry people and we do not know that our anger and the sadness of our countenance is a programming we are programming our environment to be conducive for the activities of demons apostle do you know what it means to look for a child's coffees which of you by frowning can add a single naira to his bank account See that 
one of the first signs of depression is the inability to communicate with joy when people are depressed they sit down they are gloomy they look older than their age and that's exactly what the devil wants you want restoration you must believe and you must start rejoicing 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 most times when you see people happy and rejoicing don't think it's because everything has manifested physically you'd be lying are we together yes most times when you see people happy they say why are you always smiling it's like you're not in nigeria B. you wake up in the morning and walk around the streets of our city and you find angry people angry bus conductors angry drivers angry employees angry students someone just gets up in the morning and is angry he sees you laughing and he's just angry at it say I will rejoice being joyful is a choice for you now because the Holy Spirit the custodian of that joy is already it's called the joy of the Holy Ghost you can choose I have I have made up my mind to program my environment to always project joy because in the realm of the spirit the joy of the Lord is your strength the joy of the Lord is your strength if you lack joy you lack strength and the Bible says for with joy shall you draw joy is a fetch in the realm of the spirit with it you draw from the wells of salvation are we together there are people outside you can imagine in the rain but define it some persons may be there and the devil will want to just make you feel angry and say my husband or my wife delayed me i would have been inside now but i want i want you to rejoice when you rejoice you paralyze you paralyze um, in fact the bible says a merry heart is therapeutic a merry heart do it good in the similitude of medicine the same way a patient takes medicine and it begins to work on him he says in that similitude a merry heart just being happy can keep you healthy alive say i will rejoice say it again i will rejoice and it only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and the joy that's in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes, it comes alive every time I hear your voice. Apostle, what should I do when I hear bad news? Lock yourself. Put on a song of worship. Don't mind the tears as they roll. Don't mind what you hear. Begin to celebrate. What happens if the brother said he will not marry me again? I know you are human, but you are also spiritual. Whatever dimension you permit is what find expression. What if I thought I would get the job and the job is not coming? Dance and celebrate. The one who woke me up can give me a job. The one who gave me strength to write the aptitude test, although I failed, he's still alive. Listen, I'm not telling you what I don't do. I've already danced all the miracles of this miracle service. I've already rejoiced it. I didn't just pray it. I spent the night forcing your healing to arrive here. I can guarantee you it arrived. Because both the parcel and the deliverer are not mysteries. We know them. <laughs> ah! May you lose the ability to wrinkle yourself to old age just because of this, this thing around. No, no. Choose to be joyful. Choose to be joyful. 
Lord, things are not like that yet. Tomorrow, by 9 o'clock, my landlord is coming. My landlord has already told me, you can go to church, but 9 o'clock is me that will wake you in the morning. Lord, what should I do? Even if you cry, he's still coming. So why don't you rejoice? Are we together? So I thought that my son, you know, would, 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 my son would, would get a very nice job. I thought he was working only to find out that he's been five years without a job. We are dying in this family. Apostle, I did not even eat. I came here hungry. Brothers and sisters, it's joy that will put food in that plate. Your anger is pushing that plate far from you. So bring it closer by rejoicing. a very big God who is always by my side a mighty God by my side just wasting our time. This is the foolishness that brought us thus far. Hallelujah. I don't like dancing. I don't know how to dance. The Bible said to whom much is given. Much is given. Even if all I do is this way, God knows is a is my windows might have put on my hand. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of you, some of you you know what you did after you took one bottle of beer when you were in the world. So we just have two minutes, Sam. In two minutes, I want us to share this place. Two minutes. Two minutes quickly.
let's, let's, let's hear ourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let me have your attention. I just want to explain something. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, yes. Take it easy. When it's time to shout, you shout. When it's time to listen, let's listen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If we, if when it's time to shout, we shout together. But when it's time to listen, let's listen so that we can allow God to step in. Before you sit down, I just want to tell you something. Listen. You see, most times, most times, the difference between carnality and spirituality is not necessarily the action, it's the revelation. The same way someone can just shout and waste his time and just a show of youthfulness, another person can shout with revelation and that alone can be tequila. The shout that will bring down Jericho. Are we together? Now, I know that we just took two or three minutes singing and dancing and jumping before the Lord. I want you to know that God is not a man. Please have this revelation. Are we together? Some of you, you will sit down now and check and find out that certain situations have gone. Some of you, in that, in that, in that rejoicing, you will be amazed to know the release of angels and the ministry spirits going to correct situations in your life. You must believe this. Hallelujah. Please be seated for a minute. Let me just tie it up and we'll pray. My spirit is fired up. This praise did something to me. Joy. Joy. Brothers and sisters, learn this. Be ever joyful. Don't jump today and dance and rejoice. And five minutes later, after service, you are frowning and acting as though it's not God that you came to meet again. Make it a disposition. Not just an emotional thing that happened in the night. The third key, very quickly, that provokes restoration in the life of a man is sacrifice. Key number three, sacrifice. Let me tie it quickly so that we can pray. Sacrifice, First Kings 17 from verse 7. Or oh, really, verse, verse, verse 1, to, 1 to 6. First Kings 17, we read. Or if we do not have time, 17. And it came to pass after a while, he said that the brook dried up because there had not been rain. Read on. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, go down to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow to sustain you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water. Number one, she's a widow. Number two, trying to gather sticks. Obviously, Elisha knew that it was a time of famine. Are we together now? It will look as though Elijah just came to help himself. But a woman is about to receive breakthrough. A woman is about to receive. Only God knows what happened. A widow meant that she lost her husband. And several other things would have left her life. And then, that I may drink. Verse 11. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Hear what the prophet says. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. Make that sacrifice. I know that it is not convenient for you, but I'm standing here representing God to step into your life and command restoration, breakthrough. But I'm demanding something from you. In this case, that which is valuable to you now. Make me cake first. Bring it unto me and afterwards you will make for you and your son. Listen. I wish, I wish that what I were saying 
will just happen without sacrifice. Restoration will cost you. You will have to provoke your faith. A seed is not just money. A seed is a sacrifice of something that costs you. It's a proof that you love God. Whenever what you have is about to finish, there is a system to refill it again. In this case, he demanded sacrifice of her. Listen, a sacrifice in the realm of the spirit automatically brings whoever is doing it into a covenant with God. Psalm 50 verse 5, it says, Gather unto me my saints, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. This is why many believers never experience restoration. Why will you as a man of God come and meet a woman? Please, brothers and sisters, I want you to reason this. You look at someone who is about to dry, nothing is happening in her life, and then you are asking her to sacrifice something. Jesus was having a crusade. He was the organizer and the conveyor of the crusade. And then he said, go and feed the people, and there was nothing. And then... Andrew found a young lad. You would call it bullying. Our generation knows how to abuse words. You would even call it an abuse. Collected the boy's loaf and bread, his lunchbox, and took it to Jesus. And said, this is what we've been able to find. And Jesus said, fine. I thought Jesus was Abba, so, such a harsh and wicked adult. You mean you bully this? Go and return it back. I am love. But Jesus said, that's it. Have you always wondered who had the remaining 12 baskets? The boy was willing to sacrifice a moment of satisfaction to create something. Many believers do not know how to sacrifice now to smile. This is a principle that does not just go to seeds alone. Sacrificing the convenience, luxury today, so that you can carry an anointing and a grace that will be able to speak tomorrow. Sacrificing today to discipline yourself and learn the principles that will make you successful. You want to experience restoration and indeed it's a principle that applies to many mysteries in the spirit. Sacrifice. A few minutes ago you were shouting and now Koinonia is quiet. Why? Because it's a reflection of your unwillingness to part with things today and gain them tomorrow. If you want to be great, listen to me. If you want to defy the limitation that comes with this system, get used to this language, sacrifice. You will always give up something to go up. You won't hold what you have and still rise. The lighter you are, the higher you fly. Are we together? Sacrifice. Praise can be a sacrifice. Your seed can be a sacrifice. Your service in the house of God can be a sacrifice. Your honor to the vessels of God can be a sacrifice. You want to experience restoration. Listen, let me teach you something powerful about restoration. The blessing is not in what you have lost. The blessing is in what you have left. There's a very strange story in the Bible. I think it's in the book of Hosea or Amos. That a shepherd was trying to rescue a lamb that had been eaten by a lion the lion so ate the lamb that there was nothing left only one ear and two legs that was all that was left yet the shepherd still ran to still rescue the lamb what will you do with one ear and two legs eating the intestines eating all of this but in the realm of the spirit it is not what left you that is the issue it is what you have left what you have left is a sign that god is still interested in restoration that's why everything did not go are you hearing what i'm saying most times we forget what we have left and we keep regretting oh god this one left me a relationship left you but your health is still with you that health can be the seed that will bring back another relationship 
your job left you but your praise did not leave you that praise can be a sacrifice that will bring another job are you getting the, the way this thing works there is always something you have in your life that can bring back something you lost there is always something you have in your life that can bring back something you lost. Listen, let me repeat myself. There is always something in your life that you have today that can bring back something you lost. Hallelujah. Yes. You had a miscarriage and you are crying and say, Lord, this is the fourth miscarriage. You lost the baby, sad. But by the grace of God, you are still alive and you can speak. Use your health as a seed to get another child. The health that you have dedicated to praising God as a seed of sacrifice. Apostle, but I lost my father, he's gone. I lost my mother, she's gone. I lost my brother, he's gone. I understand and I sympathize with you deeply from the depth of my heart. But you are the seed that is left. Use yourself and your life to gain back what your father would have been and what your mother would have been. Everything they would have been to you. Sowing that seed of sacrifice. Someone can appear in your life and say, I may not be your biological father, but I take responsibility for your life from today. No strings attached. There is such a possibility. Are we together? Yes. They killed several children. The nation of Israel was under threat. And a woman carried her son as a seed and put him in a river and just said, Lord, just protect this guy. And God said, that son that you gave as a seed, I will use him as the deliverer to preserve them. Whenever you are afraid of losing things, you open the door for losses. That which I have feared most has come upon me. There are many of us, you are so afraid of losing things that you, you fear success when it comes because you think it will not last. Anytime good things happen, you are careful. A brother comes to propose to you and you are saying, well, I said yes, but the truth is I've not said yes first. I've had 10 people break my heart. That's what happened to the woman who met Jesus. Six husbands, five men shattered her heart. The sixth one is not even her husband and Jesus came. So she was careful. And Jesus said, me, I'm not like the rest though. And gave her an encounter. She became an evangelist instantly. Went and gathered people and said, come. What of the madman at Gadara? Do you know there was a time that man had his sense back? There was a time he was born. There was a day they dedicated him. There was a day the madness started. Gradually. Until he got to that acute state where even chains could no longer hold him. He was in a cave all by himself. So when they crossed over to the other side, demons came through him but Jesus had compassion. He was seeing a man who had potentials to be an evangelist to win 10 cities. Yet he was under that situation. And Jesus said, we can do something. Now, when you read your Bible, I don't want us to turn there. But even with those demons, the Bible says the man worshipped Jesus. The remaining 1% sense that I have, the demons are making me look like I don't recognize you. But that ounce of sanity, I sow it as a seed and I worship you. And Jesus said, all right. All of you people trying to mess up this guy's life, you can go places. But let this guy be restored. The Bible says they came and they found him in his perfect mind. He went to the Decapolis, 10 cities, gathered people and brought them to Jesus. The miracle is not in what you have left. I know that whilst you're sitting right now, there is a fibroid in your stomach. But can you use your mouth as the seed to take away that fibroid? Your stomach was affected, but you still have a voice. You can sing. You still have an ear. Your ear can be the seed, the sacrifice of attentiveness to listen to the word of the Lord can restore you. No man is ever helpless if you understand the mystery of seeds and sacrifices. Every time things leave you, forget about them. Focus on what you have left. Lord, I give you all your praise. I lost my job. 
lost my wife, lost my children. I'm all alone. And God says, that's all you need. You are alone with me like Jacob. Use your aloneness as a seed. Sow it and receive an encounter. An encounter that will bring them again. Job understood this. He lost everything in his life. The only thing he had was his conviction. And the wife said, lose that one too. So, why are you talking like one of these foolish women? How else will it come back? Job said, though he slay me, I have lost my health, but I have not lost my voice. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Elihu and all and co were talking all kinds of nonsense. Job came listening to them. And in chapter 42, Job said, well, I may not be able to give as I used to be, but I still have my mouth. I can be an intercessor. 42 verse 10, he started interceding for his friends. And God said, this is it. He turned his life around. And God turned the captivity of Job, 42 verse 10, when he prayed for his friends. Listen, there is always something in your life that can bring back something that left you. If this is the only revelation you have tonight, you will rejoice. Go back home and stop tear all of those sheets of papers that are archives of regrets and start writing what you have left. I still have my convictions. I lost a job, but I still have my certificate. Are we together now? I lost my car, but my hands are still working well. I didn't die in the accident. And when you put all those things, you say, Lord, I laid this at the altar of sacrifice. I tell you to bring back everything and everything. Sacrifice. Number four, very quickly. The fourth key to restoration is engaging the prophetic. The fourth key to restoration engaging the prophetic specifically prophetic utterances let me show you three scriptures that will bless you tonight Isaiah 42 verse 22 please give it to us media Isaiah 42 verse 22 but this is a people robbed and spoiled all of them are snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and non deliverance, for a spoil. And there is no advocate that prophesies to them, restore. For you to ever experience restoration, there must be the introduction of the prophetic into your life. The prophetic, the prophetic, either as an operation of the word of God or as a ministry of those anointed to walk in that respect. You have to understand what I'm teaching you. Without an encounter with a prophetic grace, a prophetic office, or a, a prophetic dimension of the word of God, there is no restoration. It's impossible. Second scripture, Psalm 119 verse 49. I found this scripture while I was studying and I felt it was very powerful and um, it would be great for us to see it. Psalm 119 verse 49. It says, Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Give us an Amplified. I want to explain to you what this scripture said. Remember fervently the word and promise to your servant in which you caused me to hope. In other words, the man of God came and told you he has a covenant with God and said God made a promise to him that when he stands and does certain things, he will hear him. And you are now saying, Lord, remember when that man of God spoke to me that something about his altar and his covenant can bring me break to I believed it. And he said, remember the word, the promise you gave your servant upon which I now hope that it will work for me. That's why sometimes you hear people say the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of Oyedeko. So there is, it's not some religious, you know, whatever it is. It is a system of invoking the personal covenant. God, aside from the Old and the New Testament, God has personal covenants with men till today. God can enter a covenant with a man, a family, because of something that was done and say, look, whoever does certain things connected to this, I will bless you. 
God had a covenant with Abraham. Listen. And anybody and anything that came out of Abraham. A sad story later happened. And then Ishmael came out. When Ishmael came out, the Bible says Hagar, Hagar and Ishmael were in the wilderness. Two of them were crying. Only the voice of Ishmael was heard in heaven. Why? The Bible says God heard the voice of the young lad. A child is crying. The mother is crying. Only one voice is heard in heaven. Because God said, Abraham, you and anybody and anything that comes out of you. It's not God's concern whether it was a mystic or not. He is bound to it. It is still the reason why Ishmael today can still manifest certain dimensions of the blessing. Remember. The last scripture. Second Kings. Let's look at chapter 7. Actually, the whole is, is Elisha's encounter in Samaria, chapter 6, 7. But we're looking at chapter 7, just two scriptures. Second Kings, chapter 7, we'll read verse 1 and then we'll read verse 18. And Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. This is the prophetic now. Samaria as a nation was ravaged by so much famine that the Bible says women were eating their children. Mothers, please think for a minute. Think of roasting the leg of your child and watching it roast and yet not being afraid. I've heard of people drinking their urine because of test, but I've not heard of people eating their children. So Nigeria's recession is not as bad as it was here. The Bible says women, as compassionate as they were, were eating the same children. Eating your child is like eating yourself. The child came out of you. It's the same thing as cutting yourself and eating it. And this is what happened. And the prophet came and said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Listen. He said tomorrow. About this time. Shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel. In the gate of Samaria. Look at me. Let me teach you something profound. The miracle. This tomorrow. Was not something God revealed to the prophet. And said that's what I want to do. The, uh, the prophet chose the date when that land will be delivered. Listen, this is not revelation. It didn't say God revealed to me. In other words, I'm just giving you a superior information. There is a difference between revelation and creation. Revelation just gives you a prior knowledge of what is there anyway. Creation makes it appear and manifest. Like the testimony of our dear lady who goes to her room and sees piles of money, physical cash. Now that's creation. Revelation is I can stand here and say there is a brown envelope in your room. Go and check it. I didn't put it there. I only help to guide you so you go and find it. This prophet was not creating. This prophet, I mean he was not revealing. He was creating. He says, look, I understand that part of the privileges of prophetic ministry is to appoint to people dates. The realm of the spirit has events without dates tied to them. It takes the prophetic to appoint dates. That's why through the prophetic ministry, you can go into five years ago, pick an event that would have been your testimony that was corrupted through witchcraft and fast forward it and appoint a date in your future to make it happen. You have to believe this. Otherwise, how does God restore years? Are we together now? Time is only subject to this realm. The realm of the spirit is a compendium of happenings that are manipulated by the will of God and the intelligence of citizens on the earth who know how to make it happen. So there are events that represent the will of God. There are certain dimensions of his will that are fixed according to his predeterminate counsel. But there are others that are flexible left to the intelligence of the saints. Such as your miracle today. It's not God that decided that today will be your miracle. You would have chosen to remain at home. 
Jesus was passing a city called Nain. Are we Bible students? It was never his plan to raise any dead body. He was minding his business. He was not on evangelism. And he saw people crying. And then he said, what's going on here? And they said, there is a woman ravaged by witchcraft. Her husband that dead. Her only son dead. And Jesus said, wait a minute. Bring down that coffee. There and then, he decided the destiny of that woman. Brothers and sisters, hear me. This issue of one day, one day is faithlessness. You can insist. The Bible says today, if you hear his voice, you can choose and say, Lord, today, today, I'm tired of this hangover of nonsense around my life. Today is the day your faith can turn it around and bring you a miracle. You believe that? Say amen. Listen. You are the only one who continues to progress in time. The realm of the spirit does not progress in time. The time is bare. Are we together now? So in the realm of the spirit, you don't, there's no such thing as past and present with God. So when you say God, remember five years ago, you said you would do something and you did not do it. God said it doesn't make any difference. It can still happen. And you say, Lord, but I'm older now. God says, and so I can readjust it to still fit the older you. Lord, you gave me a word that I will marry at 21. I'm 35. And God says, no problem, I can do it. Lord, I plan to have six children. God said it doesn't make any difference. Six years, two, two years with twins. My word has come to pass. Lord, you said you would prosper me, but this has not happened. I would have gotten a job. How much was the salary that time? 20,000. How much would you have had now? 1.2. God says, I give you an idea that brings you 2.4 in one month. Listen, please, you have to believe what I'm telling you. Otherwise, we're wasting our time here. Prophetic is powerful. It can appoint dates for spiritual events and cause them to be made manifest. You've seen this happening in Koinonia. Somebody will write jam, for instance, and have 160 something. And all of a sudden, a word will come and you go and check it again and see 260 something. How do you explain that? Someone writes an exam and just remembers writing his name alone or question one. And then comes and the word comes and the result comes out and is in 4.8. Ah, oh, please, brothers and sisters, we are intelligent people, but we are also spiritual. Never allow your intelligence take away the place of the realm of the spirit in your life. The same way you are seated here and say, Apostle, can God do it? Brothers and sisters, he can. Look at my life. Look at this ministry. The word of God. Can God cure that sickness? Yes, he can. I repeat, yes, he can. Can God turn around my captivity? Some of you are not sick. But what is wrong with you is better sickness than that problem. God can still turn it around. God can turn it around. In the name of Jesus, God can turn it around. The Lord declared and said, I shall announce to us that this miracle service is dedicated towards restoration. I truly believe every word of God. And I believe that one of the things God is going to be doing tonight is to call back things. Compress time for people. Call back things. Please believe it. Believe it. Believe it. I am a testimony. I've seen God bless people overnight. Overnight. Ha! He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Sometimes life can whip you to a point where you look up and say, God, I have served you. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't rob anybody. Why is my life like this? Then God tells you, locate the power of prophecy. Locate the power of prophecy. Some of you didn't want to come tonight. You can come and still look and say, wow, what an interesting service. Or you can come and pray. say, Lord, it is within your power to change this situation. Why should we pro prolong it? It's within your power. It's within your power. You've seen the testimonies. We never announce anything here that is not verified. You've seen all the great testimonies. No matter what is wrong with your life, 
your ministry has crashed down. You were once on fire and once anointed. And something happened. You can't tell what it is. But that grace and that unction doesn't look like it's there again. You are preaching and even you, you know you are not blessing anybody. Again, like the hair of Samson, it can come back again. My help. My help. My mother has died. I'm an orphan. There's no one to take care of me. Listen, let me tell you the truth. There are many fathers and mothers. Prophecy just needs to bring two of you together. Tonight, if you believe what I'm teaching you, you will be amazed to see the way the Lord will turn your life. pregnant now I'm seated here and my baby cannot even move he's there just give me a few minutes and watch a miracle that will bring tears from your eyes I believe God I am one man of God that believes God can turn around any situation he will always be alive the Lord will perfect that concerning jobs are finished. A job is not with any government. A job is in the word of God. Listen to me. Don't cry. No. Stop that tears. It's a weak not. When the book is open, tears will stop. God didn't gather you here. Some of you travel so far. There are some of you standing in the, in the rain, standing outside. God is too faithful to come and waste your time. In the next few minutes, I want you to believe this. Please listen, listen. Don't be part of those. Now is not the time to pinch around and hope. Will God do it? Apostle, I lost money. Apostle, I lost joy. Apostle, I lost a job. They blackmailed me. able to restore. And let me tell you something. God can restore fast. He can restore fast. 430 years in captivity. One night God said that's all. When God arises, El Gibor, the mighty man, when he shakes himself and stands up and says, I want to leave David down, let me tell you, I don't care what which way. I have seen God lift people who were not even prepared. I ju he just chose that I want to make a specimen with this person. It doesn't take time. It doesn't take time. We're about to pray. I came here with all my heart, believing that God will restore somebody. If you belong to any of these categories, except you've not lost anything, you can sit down. But if you know there is something in your life that you know must come back, I'm not saying may come back, it's not a discussion. I've lost my joy, can't come back. I've lost my peace, can't come back. I lost my husband. God can fetch him wherever he is and return him. Hallelujah. Listen, we're going to pray for a few minutes. It will be very fast. I don't plan to waste our time here. We're going to be very fast. The message is already complicated. It's not when I start ministry. As soon as we start praying, I like you, please. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, why don't you do this? Just, just be childlike for once and say, Lord, I believe the word of your servant. I open up my heart. I want you to open your mouth and call things back into your life. Call opportunities.
this atmosphere is anointed. Come.
very fast. I'm seeing shoes in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is telling me people will wear them now. This is a sign of restoration too. Lord, where are they? Let it happen now. There is a grace for performance. Grace for performance. Please bring them out quickly. Please, ushers, you should know this. We are saving time. Please, quickly. He says, grace for performance right now. In the name of Jesus. someone nailing wood like a carpenter and the Lord is telling me he's fixing things now fixing things now fixing things now there is an anointing fixing things now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God
talking about the past. Let's look at me. The past has a way of wanting to relieve itself in your present. You think about your failure of primary school. Now you are a graduate, but it has still sponsored your lack of confidence. In the name that is above one, it's one more time I pray. Anyone here still connected to his past? I come in the name of Jesus, the one whom I serve. I provoke an anointing from heaven.
for this category of people that nothing is working for. Some of you represent your families. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may that fire come upon you now and bring you breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing is working. I cause it. I cause the spirit. I cause the power. I cause the influence that is making this happen. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. It's a very serious prayer. I'm still praying. Nothing is working. It's not like you are not moving. But it works for others till it gets to your tongue. Simple things that should open up, don't open up. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I direct an auction to your life and destiny. And I command you now, in the name of Jesus, by the ministry of the Spirit, be free from this evil. Be free from this evil. There is a family, and the family people are here. I stretch my hands. Let the power of God locate them now. Let the power of God locate them now. Let the power of God locate them now. You see, brothers and sisters, these are the things that stop you from experiencing results. My brother, come. You. Your salvation has come. Come and stand here. Pray to pray for you. Look at me. Hold on. This is your first time coming here. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit. You belong to this category I'm talking about. Nothing is working. Huh? Even finances is the grace of God. Where are you coming from? Um, hold on. Please help that the ushers to help them. Are you Yoruba? You are Yoruba? Yes, sir. From Akure State? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Odo, Odo State. Odo is what? This is what I'm saying. Akure or Odo. That's what. You are coming from Akure. Yes, sir. And because I'm seeing a car, and that's where you are coming from. Where are you coming from now? Akure. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is going to change your life totally right now. Who is Lake Up? Listen, just one touch from the Lord to change your story, lift your hands. Lay come, overflow, he's in the overflow, where are you? Please stand up, my brother, stand up. What's your name? Lay come, sir. From where? Ekiti State, sir. Stand here, your life is about to change. Look at him, sir. The Lord will do you a miracle. Lady wearing this this lime thing, God is not done with you. I've seen an angel pouring oil on her. This one's handy. Huh? Help her. God is not done. I'll come to you shortly. We're going to do this very fast. Hopefully, before by the grace of God, between now and the end of the day, we'll convert one of the miracle service to a vigil. It's not just prayer. By God's grace, I will trust God for grace to prophesy upon our lives. I will go section by section, inside and outside. Prophecy is powerful when it's done with understanding. It can wipe your tears in one minute. Lift your hands. You are laid up. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, is it Augustus? Yes, Augustus or Augustus. Something that has been Augustus. Augustus or something. Augustus. I'm hearing like Augustus, please. We have to finish fast because we're going to pray for this. Augustus. Change the story. Jesus. Something just left you. You are sick. That sickness has gone now. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. My brother, you don't make it in life by hustling. You make it in life by divine direction. This is what God is saying. What's your name? Just 
just bring them, but the name I hear is Augustus, but I will pray for you something, Augustus. My brother, hold my hands. This is not about hustling. Huh? It's not moving around. It's walking circumspectly by the Spirit and the grant you grace. Hold my hands. The Lord will wipe your tears in the name of Jesus and bring this oppression to an end. That man holding pictures, run, come. Your breakthrough has come. Run, run, come. Stand here, where are you coming from? I'm looking at you. You are not in Zaria. From Kano State. You are from Kano State. Who is this? No, no, I'm not. I'm looking at your picture. My mom. What's wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her. She gave me something for you. Your mom is sick. You don't know something is wrong with her. Hold on, please. If they are manifesting, just leave them there. Please, let's be fast. I want to pray for you. Hold on. Who is this one? She's my sister too. This is your sister. Yes. If I don't pray, I'm seeing this girl inside the coffin. Where is she? She's in Canada. Is she well? Yes. She's well. Yes. We have to pray for her. One of your sisters is sick. Yes. Sir. Is that true? Yes, Where is she? She's in Canada. She's in Canada. The same thing happening to that one is about to happen to this one. Do I know you? That's what I'm telling you. God wants to change this thing now. Yes. You are a sincere person. Now, what do you do? I'm a banker. Sir. You are a banker. I will pray for you so that they will not cause trouble and steal money and you in your group. There's already trouble. Yes. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. In your office. Yes, sir. And if I don't pray for you, they are going to sack you by August. I want to pray for you. Correct, sir. August. Yeah. That's what stand up. That's what they're doing. Hold it. If I don't pray for you by August, you are leaving at once. But there is a God. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. Come, sir. I don't know you, and I don't know how your mother got to know me, but your mother loves me with all her heart. Is that true? Yes, sir. I want you to tell your mother that her son is blessing her from his heart. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I'll pray for you, sir. Huh? Because people have to be careful. There is a group, this bank group. All of you have problems. They are going to make you to pay some amount of money that is missing. And they are going to drive all of you. You need the mercy of God. Huh? Yes, and for your sister, this is witchcraft. God is coming in to step in. You're a very nice person to come in. In the name of Jesus. The same thing God is delivering you for is what is delivering the person shouting here. Let it turn now. I lay my hands upon you. Ugechuku. Is it Ugechuku or Ugechuku or something? In the name of Jesus, I speak favor. Sir, look at me. As I laid my hands on you, I saw you climbing a ladder. Watch this. This is how you will stand here in Koinonia to testify. Listen. I want everybody to look at this brother very well. Know his face. Because he's going to come and stand here and testify of a dramatic breakthrough that God is bringing to his life. Is it Ugochuku or Ugochuku? Which of you came from Southern Canada? You come and stand. Your miracle has come. Jesus. Stand up, sir. What do you do? Watch with the MC, Kefi. Federal Medical Center. Yes, Kefi. I want to pray for you. If God were to do one thing for you, what will it be? You're a wise man. I want to pray for you. God is going to lift you. Do you know that the hand of God is upon your life? Not just for like hand of God, even to tell people about Jesus Christ. There is an evangelistic grace on yes. your life. Yes. God has revealed it to you. Yes. You know it. I've been doing that. I was together in your program uh, in soup. Two days program you came at KF. Oh, I you were there the, at yes, the meeting. Two, four, seven, you were part of the committee people yeah, there. Yeah. Because I see a man that God will use greatly in outreaches. I'm seeing signs and wonders. God will use you greatly. So I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let an anointing, something will come upon you now. I tell you, you will rise up from this night and begin to walk miracles like you held a champ. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, the same thing is happening to that person. 
I release that grace. I activate your spirit man by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. There is a spirit troubling this brother. Stand up. Come. Lift your hands. Let him go now. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. He came to receive impartation. What you need is deliverance first. There is a, a spirit that is oppressing you. Mama, can I talk to you, ma? Please. Where are you coming from, madam? Abuja. You believe that God is going to change your story. In the name of Jesus, you will. I want to pray for you. Please hold my hand because the Lord said I should bless you. The Lord said I should bless you. There is, I'm seeing, I'm seeing one. Kai. The Lord is showing me the vision of a lady. I'm looking at this table and I'm seeing, I'm not seeing a table. I'm seeing a lady. You are wearing like blue, a blue cloth with her tie. You are crying now, cleaning your tears. And you are asking the Lord that I will locate you. You are inside here. No, you are wearing blue. No. No. I will pray for you. The person is coming. You want something. Who is that? You tied your head with. Madam, run and come. You are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you. Look at me. Where were you sitting? Where, was she inside here? Yes, sir. Where, is, where are you coming from? Kemi State. I'm going to pray for you. He said, I should tell you that he's bringing captivity to an end in your life this night. Captivity to an end. You believe it? Let it be yours now. The power of the Holy Spirit. My sister, look at me. Shame and reproach. I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Hold my hands. Let shame and reproach leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just talk to you. 
these children look small here, but I'm seeing. Hold on, hold on. They are here. One is who is this one? These ones are your children. I'm looking at this one. Is she married? She is married. Because I'm seeing a ring. And I'm seeing a ring, but I'm not hearing the sound of a child. And the Lord is saying a child should come now. Two years. Two years. Two years. Where is the person? Come. No woman. There's no woman. Call the person's name now. No children. Two years. No children. We are going to pray. She's not here. This is your son. This is the one here in the Okay, baby. you standing for them. Mama, why should you give birth to children and not see your grandchildren? Somebody shout, no way. Shout it again, no way. The Bible says you will see your children's children. That's scriptures. It didn't say you will see them on your deathbed. You will see them and dance and rejoice with them. Mama, do you believe if I pray for this lady now? She will come back and testify here with a child. I believe in Jesus' name. It will happen. You Jesus. believe. What's her name? Her name is Adama Isa. Adama. Adama. Jesus. The name of Jesus become pregnant. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This one. Yeah, the medium. This is the one. No, no, I'll pray for him. This one is again. Winter. Sometimes, diabetes, Hold on. Ulcer. I will pray for you. you have fibroid, yes, you have diabetes, yes. you have ulcer. Yes, sir. What does this look like? You see how the devil is fibroid, diabetes, ulcer. A woman like this, then her own children, barrenness. Then this one, there's no speed in your life. Come and stand here. You are you that you are the gentleman, there's serious retrogression. I have to pray for you. Huh? You love God, but you are not moving forward at all. I have to pray for you. Is that true, Mama? Okay. Okay. Repeating, repeating. That's what I'm saying. It's not moving forward. Yes, sir. You believe in the message I just preached that God is a restaurant. I believe. My Jesus. Mother, it's not that you are lazy. There is a spirit that manipulates your results. You are being repeating forever. I have to pray for you. Lift your hands. You are the one I will start with first. Father, let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on your mind and I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Over. Mama, that's it. It's over in the name of Jesus. I pray for this, your children. Pray for this. Where is he? Our husband yes. is we were from Plateau State. We live in Kano. Mumta Nebokos. Okay. In Aike, she made it. Kano. We have to pray for him. Because I'm seeing a serious spirit of delay in his life. We have to pray for him. And I'm seeing he's having problem already with his wife. Is something we need to pray for. Um, I hope you are not embarrassed. No, no, sir. In the name of Jesus, we pray for you. Mama, let me pray for you. All sad that diabetes, fibroid, and um, and and ulcer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every single one of them, help her, let it go now. The same way it came, let it go. Every house has an entry and exit. Let this be the exit of this now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. God is removing fiber from someone's stomach. Now, this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. We are going to pray for the sick now very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone, I'm seeing this. I command it now. I command it now to happen. Those malignant groups, I command it now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. A loud shout is going to be someone with that loud shout. That's the end of it. It comes now. Never to be told. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Before we pray for the sick, I want to challenge every strange spirit that is responsible for sabotaging the purposes of God in your life. Lift your hands. As I minister deliverance to you, it doesn't mean you are possessed. No, no. The operations of demons is such that they can take advantage of mechanisms, provisions in the realm of the spirit to manipulate people. I want to pray for you. I have to do this before we start praying for the sick. Inside, outside, I want you to be ready. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, 
anyone under the influence of any spirit, please get ready and pray. I see mighty deliverances happening. Any strange spirit in this place that is tying down the destiny of anyone, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three. within the ages of maybe 1 to 11 now as I'm praying the power of God is going to come upon that child and the child will start manifesting I'm seeing this is this is some demonic diabolic thing I'm not saying the child is bad I'm just showing you what the Lord is showing me father wherever this child is I pray for our children now whether it is an initiation whether it is anything occultic I'm, I decree and declare right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ wherever that little child is i command those devils to live now i command those devils to live now in the name of jesus christ i command those devils to live now very quickly we are going to pray for the sick there are so many things god is doing in the realm of the spirit there are so many things god is doing there is a brother the power of God is going to come on him now, overflow to the one at the road. Please, I want you to bring him now. I want to talk to him. Overflow to. I see an angel of the Lord moving across overflow to. And the fire of God is falling on a brother. Please, I want that brother to come. The fire of God will 
will suddenly fall upon that person please let him come carry him and, and bring him i want to prophesy to him i'm going to give us a prayer point now while we are praying we are going to ask people to come so that we'll pray for the sick very very quickly because i want to be able to have time to prophesy remember i spoke about restoration i want to use time to prophesy now watch this please overflow one all the overflows those who are sick in body i want you to when when we finish praying make your way to your various overflows and wait there there will be people who will come to minister healing to you we believe in the ministry of miracles god has anointed us for this purpose and by god's grace we are not too many that we cannot lay hands on people one by one and that's why we do that so that everybody will have that sense of i may not be able to lay hands on people outside but there are men and, and women of god anointed and they will be able to also minister to you praise the lord please make sure you are sensitive outside i want to pray for that gentleman that's him ah. let it end now i stretch my hands towards you i bring it to an end there is sorrow upon sorrow on this gentleman's life the lord is asking me to wave my hands it comes to an end now this guy is not the person no. just just leave him there at least he has received his own who is this one from outside overflow two the person is supposed to be shouting in the name of jesus christ father i pray by the power of the holy spirit let this end i'm stretching my hands in the name of jesus i command the power of darkness over your life and over your family to be broken right now in the name of jesus christ i breathe the life of god into you and i decree and declare that it comes to an end now I know there are many people here there is a gentleman please i don't do these things to disgrace me but there is a gentleman here um you are thoroughly addicted to taking you know you always hear me say that thing what's the name of that thing that codeine but your own is not just codeine alone it's plus whether smoke um some of these funny things you are here and you are tired of it but you cannot stop please where are you please don't waste our time there's a gentleman that i need to pray for seems to me like that person is outside inside please if you are here don't be embarrassed i want to help you end this i know there are many people but there is a specific person god is talking to me about let's just flow as a holy spirit to smoke him please that gentleman i want you to come out here and i want to lay my hands and end it you are tired of it but you can't stop no matter what you do that's what you spend your little money on and this thing is crashing your life and destroying your destiny where are you let's appreciate it Jesus said he who does not have sin should cast the first stone when we call people like this we don't condemn people i love you with all my heart the meaning of my name is the way to love i love people you look at these gentlemen you can see the way their lives are you see how disorganized they are this is the devil if we don't pray for these people this gentleman one day will become a father it doesn't matter i prophesy for one is for all come and join them i want to pray for you now please one minute if you are if you are still thinking about it just remain there but you are saying man of god i'm tired of this thing you have to help me quickly join them god gave a word for one but i'm praying because we have to pray for the sick quickly some of you nobody led you into it it's a spirit that just pushed you into this thing you love god but this thing is killing you I salute your courage i don't know if i would have had the courage to come out i salute your courage come Let, i think we should honor them come on join on here 
apostle does it matter of course it does of course it does of course it does when i start praying please don't come out again if you are still coming i want you to rush and come male or female i don't care whether you are a male or female it doesn't matter I, I, I perceive that there are even ladies, male or female. Jesus is setting us free. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It. Please come and stand quickly. Male or female, Koinonia, celebrate them. They are still coming. Let's give them one more minute. Since God is already talking to them now, let's just take advantage of the anointing here. Apostle, I don't take it all the time. Still join them. You take it. The most important thing is that you take it. Even if it's not all the time, you take it. Join them and let God help you. Look at me, brothers and sisters. I'm your friend. I love you with all my heart. Like I said, you may look at these boys. Please, let me give a disclaimer. Hold on, Mike. Be careful when you look at people's children and just point and think they are bad. These people need help. I interact with these people all the time and they will tell you they don't like it. It's a spirit. Some of them, nobody took, got them into all of these things just by themselves. Some of them had dreams. Some of them had strange encounters. But my Bible says, God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Come and join. Please give them room. Honestly, let's, let's let this happen. Let's let this happen. Let's let this happen. If you are joining, come. The Bible says... For this purpose, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy that this, this, you see, this smoking and drinking thing is a terrible thing. You carry cough syrup, snuff it till you are almost dying, pass out and come back again and still do it. And then others sell that, that leaf that they tie. You collect it, smoke it, and all of that. Look at me. I want to pray for you. And I want to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your coming out here does not make me better than you in any way. Are we together now? We are only, we are only benefactors of the grace and the mercy of God. I'm agreeing with you. Most people complain. Most people gossip about you. I'm not gossiping about you. I want to help you. Koinonia as a family loves you. Now listen, let me challenge all of you, please. After this prayer, huh, all of you are automatically members of prayer department for the next one month. You are welcome to prayer department for the next one month. Praise God. So, this is how we do it here. I won't deceive you that once I just pray for you, you go back and meet those friends. They will laugh at you and laugh at me and say forget about them. And then before you know it, you will go back into those things. One of the laws of, of influence is atmosphere. You open yourself to an atmosphere and destroy you. So after I pray for you, um, ushers, what will happen is you can get their names and their details. We we'll forward it to the, um, the prayer department and then we'll keep following up with you from there. You need to keep praying. You need to keep building your spirit. You need to be taught the word of God. And by God's grace, we're helping you. Some of you here will be doing what I'm doing some years to come. You will hold this mic in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you here, the ladies, you may be the wives of great men of God, evangelists and apostles. There is nobody, there's no such thing as hopelessness. To him that is joined to the living, there is hope. Stretch your hands, saints of God. If you are a mother here, stretch both of your hands. If you are a father here, stretch both of your hands. And say, use them as a point of contact. Whether your children are small or, or not, use them as a point of contact. We pray for you. We are praying for you now. That the power that is responsible for this living will end. I make contact with you. Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me 
is somebody outside. I may not ask you to come. You stole a phone on Thursday, still with you. Go and return it after this service. Go and return that phone. You love God, but stealing a phone to sell it and causing trouble for somebody is not the way it happens. God can help you and God can bless you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. If I have not touched you, just let me know and I will lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I command that spirit to leave you. I command that devil to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that devil to leave you. I curse. Oh, you are standing in for your brother. Where is he? What a wonderful lady. In the name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact. As it's happening to you, let it happen to you. And hold on, don't go. Ah, okay, you are directing them. Okay. We decree and declare. Have I prayed for you, gentlemen? In the name of Jesus, all of you are my friends. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we break this addiction from your lives. Join me and say amen. I pray for any association that will not let you serve God. I command those associations from today. Let there be a dissociation between you and them. Jesus. God bless you. Let's appreciate them very quickly. Now, we are going to begin to pray. Have I prayed for them? Have I prayed for you? This guy, you are going to be a man of God. This brother, this gentleman, bring him. This young man is going to be a man of God. Hold my hands. You need guidance and mentorship. There is a call of God upon your life. Huh? That we we and whatever it is that is stealing the call, we cause it now. Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, self time in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every challenge in my life must come under the authority of Jesus tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Those who are seeking body, I want you to come right now. Those who are seeking body, overflow one, two, three, inside. us to bring the healing power of God to people and we're very happy. We'll continue to do it. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. God has made this place a, a solution center and we honor him for it. Now, please look up. We're going to do two things very quickly. Um, overflow one, you can go to your projector stand. Overflow two, your projector stand. Overflow three and every other one, four, just join them somewhere there. Someone will come to pray for you now. Praise the Lord. While they are doing this, how many of us came with our prayer request? Hallelujah. Now, what I want you to do very quickly, those online, you can post it online and uh, we're going to connect with it by faith. If you have not written your prayer request or you've not written for your loved ones, do it quickly. The ushers are going to be waving the, a basket. Please, let's do it orderly. Just wave your prayer request and they'll locate you. You'll drop it there and we'll bring it to the altar while we pray. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ejimi will be outside, overflow one. Pastor Ejimi and Pastor Femi, overflow one. He's going to be praying, Pastor Alpha. You'll go to overflow two, um, together with Mike. Mike, you follow him, overflow two. Overflow three, Benga, and Promise. Two of you will be at overflow two and uh, overflow three and any other overflow there. Praise the Lord. We'll do it that way. Father, together we release a corporate anointing for miracles, signs, and wonders. We decree and declare right now that as we begin to minister to God's people, do a quick walk. Let incurable situations go. Let cancers go. Let HIV go. In the name of Jesus Christ, anoint everyone, oh God, that you are going to be using to lay hands on these people and let there be dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, God bless you. Please, let's go very quickly. We have, let's try to see how we can cover 
this in 15 20 minutes are we together now god bless you lord thank you for healings thank you for miracles worship team you will help us bless us in jesus name please accept listen please accept the people laying hands on you ask you you don't need to tell them what is wrong with you just stand by faith praise god the prophetic is at work if there is need to prophesy or talk to you just receive by faith it doesn't mean we have to touch the area just believe by faith you go and check yourself or call your loved ones faith hallelujah this is not a ritual that we do this is a revelation that god gave and an instruction that every miracle service we receive the requests of god's people no matter how we try to reach everyone we are constrained by time and um, so we are presenting it to the lord these are the things that attempt to say jesus did not die these are the things that attempt to say the work of the cross was and is a lie. So we bring them before him and we say, Lord, these are the obstacles that stop the revelation of your victory from being established in our lives. And we trust this fire to descend upon them. Stretch your hands by faith. Stretch your hands by faith. Believe it. Believe it. I want you to pray and say the request I'm dropping here is the last one. The last time I will be dropping this request. Please pray. There will we still have more, please. Those online, this is the time you connect with us. Those outside, you can stretch your hand to your, your projectors. God is doing miracles. God of one. Now arise, oh Lord, will you come to your rest in place, and the arms of your mind, and then we will rejoice as we glory in your righteousness. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that every request that is upon this altar tonight in the presence of your people, let it be turned into speedy testimonies. Christ, I ask you to arise in your might, visit impossible cases, beginning from right now, impossible cases, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I ask that in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven turn this request, some of them humanly impossible requests into testimonies. I stand upon this request and as I match them in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that they remain under your feet forever. I decree and declare that they remain under your feet forever. I decree and declare that they remain under your feet forever. Decree and declare that they remain under your feet forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray. There are those online, their requests. We connect by faith. And I prophesy that the same fire in this place will visit your requests in the name of Jesus. Those who have been assigned unto death by reason of this prayer, they are delivered from death. 
those who have been assigned up to failure by reason of this prayer they are declared a success Lord turn around age long captivities you declared unto us in this miracle service that you are bringing restoration I prophesy that anointing upon this request restore oh God restore oh God restore oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let there be strange restorations right now in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I want to pray for you this is the last segment I want us to connect our time is gone we'll do this very quickly please lift your hands as I pray for you Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare right now every dry bone, every dry situation, every hopeless situation in your life, receive life right now in the name of Jesus. Receive life right now in the name of Jesus. Receive life right now in the name of Jesus. Everything called dead in your life, dead finances dead relationships dead career lives in the name of Jesus hear the word of restoration I prophesy let it come back to life now I prophesy come back to life now come back to life now come back to life now every issue that has been a lingering issue for a long time and has refused to leave your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus let tonight be the last night you will see it let tonight be the last night you will see it he said these Egyptians that you see today you will see them no more forever I command that you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ that is supposed to have opened up to you and we don't know why it has refused to open till now in the name of Jesus at this June miracle service I swing those doors open for you I swing those doors open for you I swing those doors open for you for those who are asking God for direction for the next level beginning from tonight receive encounters that give you direction those outside, make sure you are connecting. Receive encounters that give you direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life. Every gift that is not yet speaking. Every grace that is, is still dormant within you. Whether spiritual gift or physical gift, I decree and declare right now. I command an awakening right now. I command a resurrection right now. I command an awakening right now. I command an awakening right now. Hear me. Every creative ability locked up on anyone here that has not found expression, I decree and declare life to your gift, life to your ability. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. There are many people here you are not walking in spiritual gifts. Paul said, I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that he may be established. I stretch my hands to you out of the abundance of help and God's grace and mercy. Something is coming upon you now. I decree and declare all nine gifts of the spirit revealed in scripture alongside others that have not been recorded at the count of three. Oh God, according to the faith of your people, let there be a distribution right now. One, two, three. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it 
right now. Take it right now. Step into those gifts. I release it upon you. I open up your spirit. I open up your understanding to be fruitful towards this gift in the name of Jesus. Except ye see miraculous signs, you shall not believe. Luke chapter 5. We'll read the first 11 verses. That miracles can help to create solid convictions. Charles and Francis Hunter, powerful evangelists, they've gone to be with the Lord now. They wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words. I believe them. I believe them. The world is tired of our noise and our stories. They want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. It says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We're reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five. What happened? Simon answering said, Master, we have toiled all night. In other words, he said, Lord, look, you are not the first to pray for me. A man of God prayed for me in Zaria. Another man prayed in wherever. You know, so God is one of those things. You bless me. Oh, yeah, do it. Master, we have toiled all night. Not for a few hours. All night. Night vigil, looking for a fish. And did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their seven and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of God in your life, the nations will bow to your God. They will never bow to you just because you are talking. Man of God, hear me. No results, you have MPPs. 
there's, there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when John questioned the messiahship of Jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell John what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the Christ is questioned John himself the one who ordained Jesus said go and ask him is he the Messiah miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah God is not a herbalist he's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists no wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name there are people who have names politicians have names businessmen have names. captains of industry gatekeepers of mountains have names but my brothers and my sisters there is a name it says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness The miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the god that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of god to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him for god was with him for god was with him We're going to pray. You have to convince yourself. It's going to be a quick walk. And we're going to cry to God and say, Lord, whatever I carried from my house, whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you, it should not return back with me. It should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i'd like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying 
there is a God that answers prayer. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it says we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. Turn again our captivity. There is a God that can turn around the captivity of men. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabarada Katos. Father, I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? A miracle walker God is a glorious God God is a miracle walker God is a glorious shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady, I'm seeing 
I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello. outside I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes. Inside and outside, bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I judge those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here, I speak by the hand of God. Hello, bring them out. I'm still on that case. The power of God is still locating people. I'm seeing snakes. Jesus I'm still praying we are not doing too many things tonight we are going to the root of many people's challenges I'm saying it again there are still spirits and I speak by the anointing of the spirit of God wherever they are overflow one two three across the road I'm declaring judgment judgment upon those spirits the fire of God is coming upon you right now whether you are standing for yourself or for your family bring them out there is no escape for when his voice comes they come out from their hiding place I 
Hallelujah. Now listen. There are people. I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people. And I'm seeing people beginning to run. Just run. When you see people doing that, hold them and bring them. The Lord is bringing deliverance. That one is not speed. This one is not the prayer for speed. I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me. Right now I decree and declare. I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism. But I stretch my hands by the Spirit. I command judgment on every force. Judgment on every power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God is coming upon them. You will begin to see them run around. Just running. It's, it's, it's not a, a making of their own. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Oh, 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 oh. My help. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three any family whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave I'm declaring at the count of three as you shout Jesus the power of God is setting you free one two three the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven just follow me this night now I'm praying for all those in front they came out because the Lord showed something I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three I speak to these spirits release everything you have taken from these families one two go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies out of their lives out of their destinies I command a release I command a release I command a release. Release breakthroughs. Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you or it may happen once in a while this is a strange oppression of darkness and i declare i'm praying right now i'm seeing fire all over this place because there are many people that is the root cause of many oppressions in your life at the count of three you will shout that name again that is above every other name and some of you will feel something leaving you immediately i declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions at the count of three let there be emancipation one two get ready three 
I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Kebrakatakata. Rekatakata. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Reketepe rekata. Embreketeteketekete. Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people. Oppression of families. Doors, doors are opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors, doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening, two leaf gates in the spirit, fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening, you must testify. Doors opening, doors opening, doors opening. Age long doors, age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet, chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there, chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, chains being taken from off your feet. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now.
There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay 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 there is an anointing coming now is crushing that spirit just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you in the name of Jesus delay delay God is visiting delay broken by the spirit of God Please help them so they don't injure themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years. That has something to do with your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that oppression go. Let it leave you. Let it go. Let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus there is a woman now i'm going to pray for people generally but i don't know how we'll do this there is a barren woman in overflow three barren woman trusting god for the fruit of the womb please if if you can allow the woman to run and come god is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child overflow three please let her run and come Ya bone na kawo Sujata ne na kawo Sir King Salam Sir King Abjana Ya bone na kawo Maureen, I'm hearing a name, Maureen. 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 What is your name? Lift your hands. Where are you from? Shout Jesus loud as you can. Jesus! Let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken my dear look at me look at me shout jesus. jesus i crush that spirit right now in the name of jesus and the man you see in your dream in the name of jesus may you never see that man again please make sure you they don't why is mama here is she maureen this woman i i'll pray for you that woman come madam is that your daughter? Come, madam. Where are you coming from, ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C? No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh, it's a bike that will kill you. 
from the market in an accident this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead i'm not a prophet of doom mama please don't be afraid in the name of jesus christ hold my hands i extend your life by the power of the holy spirit that the plague of death see let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear maureen come you will look at a beautiful lady like this but in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a human being but no face no face like this i'm just seeing a blank face like this let me tell you what this means it's a yoke of bad luck that people stand and cannot bless you you have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded the lady on yellow lift your hands there's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen i'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before i pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of jesus i'm not praying for her i'm praying for someone now by the spirit of the lord but the lord is saying i should hold her as i pray for the person lord in the name of jesus this yoke of bad luck i'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you in the name of Jesus let it be broken now 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 now let me pray for you be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away this that I'm seeing and in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We are going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen? Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's not here. He's not, but you are married? Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam, from Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You are a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at uh, young, um, Grand Canoe. But right now, the business is... Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you because this thing is not only you there is nobody doing well in your family your entire family this is what I'm seeing is a spirit huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept is that true if I'm lying just say I'm lying where are you from from a new Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus, that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you
be free right now in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus please help them be free in the name of Jesus an state be free in the name of Jesus I'm still seeing the map in my vision be free in the name of Jesus my friend that young man holding his hands shout Jesus from where you are the yoke is broken I cast it out of your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ madam I need to pray for you don't feel bad look at me you insulted a woman some years ago and the woman told you it will not be well with you it was like a joke truly the thing followed you this is what God is showing me now I'm not a prophet of doom I'm going to pray for you I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it you insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it will not be well because what you were saying about her was not what she did hold my hands the Bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered let me tell you my brothers and my sisters the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues of men except you know where you stand a cause causeless shall not stand but if there is a cause it will stand though it will stand are we together now i will pray where are your siblings madam hi this woman no oh. you are not here alone where are the rest call them just stand where you call what is their name educate quickly please and victor educate come and and who Victor, that is and my Victor, son. Yes. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy. You are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son. Yes. Your son's name too is Victor. Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. Son. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys, that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is the little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know? Let me tell you. These small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with. Because most of what they steal, they don't need it. That's how you know it's a spirit. Are we together? Yes. That's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy. Don't assume they will be spiritual by default. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy? I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? I'm a medical sales representative. You are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? You are a sincere person, huh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Huh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, 
come the power of god is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare this thing that i'm seeing tied to your waist i lose it right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free now in the name of jesus christ you are the one trusting god for a child come how long have you been married three years three years yes. no child you too are you married five years four five months. years four months yes. no child no child doctor said after two surgeries they said my husband cannot impregnate me he did surgery twice don't cry jesus is here huh you went through two surgeries where is your husband so. he's at home don't cry where are you from where are you coming from Graceland. you see th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through sometimes we take some things for granted imagine the advices someone now will recommend and say go to a herbalist go and do this and don't cry my sister two surgeries you went through my head now i'm seeing something being removed from your stomach look at what is happening to her yes she went through two surgeries in the name of jesus christ i command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you in the name of jesus i set you free now Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural miracle for you now. Release this woman now. As I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your husband wherever he is. According to the time of life, may you return with your miracle children. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear, let me. Why is this woman here? You are married to Madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. All the walk, 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 walk is turning things around. All the walk, 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 walk is turning things around. All the walk, walk, walk is turning things around. Oh my God! Do you know why God is dealing with these issues? Because He has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Is fruitfulness from any dimension? any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying i may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in i think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone sarah huh? sarah oh dear Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes, 
father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from Huh? Nasarawa State. Nasara State. Are you alone? No, I mean. You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of jesus by the mercy of god let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there freedom now. i'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed I'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam Kano. Kano. is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here, he's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Think come out of you. Opportunity to hand their lives, opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you there is a name that is above every other name and in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon your womb and i declare the embargo of barrenness five years barrenness let it be broken right now look at this let it be broken right now i'm seeing something being loose from your stomach this is what i'm seeing and then i'm seeing you coughing you are now beginning to cough this is what i'm seeing i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but i'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing coughing something out in the name of jesus christ let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life 
return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I'm you alone. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of jesus by the mercy of god let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there freedom now. i'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed I'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam Kano. Kano. is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you number one god is going to give you the fruit of the womb number two god is restoring your finances you hear what i'm saying Amen. god is restoring your finances Amen. this is a serious issue as you are here coming now the financial trouble you are into is only god that can bring you out Amen. is that true god is going to help you madam put your hand on your stomach in the name of jesus christ why are they here six graduates no job in the name of jesus christ father by your mercy and by your grace let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman just keep her down in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit everything that is wrong be corrected now in the name of jesus sir please can you hold my hands in the name of jesus i speak over your finances there is a grace that can restore and i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ madam let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick you are the both of you where are you coming from you are here in zaria yes and you are, yes i know your face six graduates no job yes, sir. including you yes sir come no but there are six here, people no. yes. but there's no job for yes, them sir. can we agree that god will give them a job yes sir and you too yes. let's pray come hold my hands father in the name of jesus christ 
there is an anointing that is coming upon you eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and i declare in the name of jesus let there be liberty liberty for all of you liberty i open the doors of jobs in jesus name i pray why is he here you are a graduate six from where please from abuja abuja yes you are a school of ministry students madam let me talk to you where are you coming from natural state are you married bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit the hand of God is coming upon someone the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous please bring the person let's save time father i establish this victory over this lady's life the oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever broken now and broken forever ah, we don't have time our time is gone but the lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state hello Madonna. under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity i stand by the hand of god whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help me. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. 
the way this thing works is that men rise the moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing they must die this is the spirit i'm seeing please listen i'm not i'm just using them and i'm ministering the way god is showing me these are not the only families with this thing but the lord is saying i should deal with it now provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle you know death will touch you but the moment you touch that bar you are going down and the lord wants to destroy it because god is using both of you to start a new program in the family i will follow the lion i will follow the lamb I will follow the lion. I will follow the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of her family. As small as you are seeing this this little girl because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family and as small as she is the devil wants to kill her in the name of jesus christ i declare i use this my dear daughter as a point of contact that everything that is not the planting of god i scatter it now in the name of jesus may god use this our precious daughter and truly may she be the deliverer of her family in the name of jesus a lady is going to start running because i'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family and that spirit is going to start driving her to run away so i'm telling you in advance you are going to see the person stand up to start running away it's, it's not even this lady i'm talking about this somebody in the crowd you will not even you will not be in control of yourself it's a spirit because i'm about to rebuke it right now mm. father i thank you for the bonire family and by extension the various families the altar that sits upon this family even the lawful captives came zakata shall be delivered even the lawful captives i break that yoke now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken i open up the door of increase rise to the senate of your profession i forbid the spirit of death once and for all In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this a mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you fought their grandparents, fought their parents, and if not delivered now, will still fight them. If there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family you rise to a position and crash down in the name of Jesus at the count of three let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar scatter that altar forever in the name of Jesus Christ It took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble. Now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Nasarawa. Just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa State. Yes, Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. 
I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where's your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up, stand up. Please stand up, stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. sir. What do you do? I am lecturer in university. You are a lecturer? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, you but sir. you are a brilliant man. It's even you, too grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, sir. It's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you are too exceptional. Yes, sir. You are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about. That you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department Political science, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything. No, sir. Ah, I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Ah, that trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you. And I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife. Amen. I decree and declare. Scale new heights in your profession. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. There is a friend in your life. And the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. I won't say more than that. Be careful. What God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Bokos. Huh? Bokos. From Joss. Not state of origin, where you came from, that you left it and came. Huh? I want to pray for you. What do you do? I, I, I'm a secretary. You are what? I'm a secretary. You are a secretary? Yes, sir. Come, let me pray for you. One of these days, we'll just trust God and do a night vigil, honestly, so that we can deal with this issue seriously. You may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss? Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy, that they have to do, um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy. Like it's breached. This is what I'm saying. The pregnancy that looks like it's... That will open you up and carry something out. Where are you coming from? Joss. What did they say is wrong with you? Um, multiple fibers. No. A man... Don't feel embarrassed. Can I talk to you? A man used to come in a dream. Huh? Yes, and sleep with you. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. That's what brought this pregnancy. I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes 
and all of a sudden this started coming of course medically you would think that okay you check it there is nothing there yet the pregnancy will not go how long has this thing been three years three years <laughs> don't cry don't cry who did you come with may this place remain a place of solutions was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically and had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can i pray for you you believe in jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy a, does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course imagine what this this means to her marital life put your hand there father in the name of jesus christ look at this look at what is happening to the woman in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by god let it be uprooted in this body is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father it must be uprooted i uproot this right now in the name of jesus christ i uproot this right now in the name of jesus by a strange mystery may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body in the name of jesus christ just keep her down there madam let me pray for you what do you want the lord to do for you i'm believing him for a life partner life partner do you believe god can give you a life partner yes, sir. do you love jesus? love jesus you are born again father the bible says male and female he created them she's not embarrassed she's standing sincerely and telling you that i came so that god will bless me with a life partner i lay my hands upon you and i decree and declare may god bring a responsible man to your life Amen. you will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow Amen. in the name of jesus christ i declare it so and for all these people standing i pray for them may the lord himself bring miracles over their life Amen. in jesus name i pray i may not have time to minister to all of you one by one please forgive me huh coincidentally i'm going to just tomorrow i'll be in just saturday sunday i'm ministering in a conference i'm excited i'll be in house on the rock at rayfield saturday and sunday i mean just but let me pray for you all of you who came all the way my dear look at me you love jesus yes sir with all your heart yes sir i drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life say amen amen you you may not understand what i'm saying but let me repeat myself i drive i didn't say god drove him in the name of jesus christ as one who loves you where eh? i drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life amen in the name of jesus i'm amen. not looking down it is god's will that all men be saved but then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimony. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. 
it's okay I'm, I'm going to pray for you 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 came you brought them okay i'm going to pray for you now you just relax now please because of time those under the anointing just leave them if there's no usher hold on a lady usher place your hand on that girl any lady usher release her now out in the name of jesus let it come to an end now and forever release her destiny release her family in the name of jesus christ let there be restoration let there be testimonies please this is how we are going to do it because our time is already gone we are going to do three things at the same time please listen number one you are going to be submitting your prayer requests number two those who are trusting god for healing in the various overflows please aside from those that i prayed for for barrenness if your reason of coming here is barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i want you to come to overflow one i want to pray for you myself aside from that please you are trusting god for a healing miracle i want you to move to your various overflows so those at overflow one move to the front of your projector stand overflow two the same thing overflow three the same thing those by the roadside the roadside down to second equa join overflow two you can join overflow two please ushers protocol pr department coordinate yourself to help them please so that the people know what they are doing praise the lord those in here you can come you can come the lord bless you now there are going to be men and women of god scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing make sure you are standing for healing please make sure you are standing for healing no 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 those for fruit of the womb come in please the main auditorium i want to lay hands on you by myself it doesn't matter what overflow you are if it is fruit of the womb please come the main auditorium i want to pray for you now please listen just a touch is enough you don't have to start explaining and telling the men of god this is a problem sometimes god can give them words if they don't don't worry just a touch and you will go back i want you to believe this that's why you came are we together while that is happening if you have your prayer request here you can just wave it and pass it let there be an usher okay um peace is here you can pass it let there be an usher or somebody please um the various departments coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this let's make it fast those online um you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests and we're going to pray on it right now please quickly quickly A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow two. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you, and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare 
that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have do a quick walk in the life of your people in the name of jesus do a quick walk in the life of your people in the name of jesus hallelujah someone will fall under the anointing here once that happens the power of god will start move to heal right here those in front here okay so i can start praying now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed praise the lord please everyone stand say after me in the name of jesus whether you are inside or outside say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now lift up your voice and begin to pray please begin to pray name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will
turn into testimonies in your life. We declare that these requests turn into supernatural testimonies. The same way I am standing upon them, I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that they are still praying for a few people, but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone. It says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I severe you from them right now in Jesus' name. I speak favor over your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus, walk in favor. 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 Therefore, God has exalted him and given him a name. That is above every other name it says that at the mention of that name every knee must bow i declare whatever must bow in your life from tonight let it bow right now let me pray for you finally and especially for those of us who are not within this city if you traveled far and came i'm praying for you now in the name that is above all names to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far that includes those from our social media platforms i decree and declare whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here return with the answers now return with the answers now You will not need to tell people you came here. There will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life. I declare that every door that has refused to open, even as the Lord kept revealing here, I enforce it and we call that door open now. The new Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salman and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye